What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So today is 16th of January, it's Tuesday morning. Last night, I read for around one hour before I slept. So I just read around 10% of the book, The Black Hill by Mamang Dai. Now I tell you the progresses and percentages because that is how I get into my Kindle. And so <laughs> that is the case. Now Black Hill is a really interesting story. It's set in the late 1850s, 1840s. And uh, it's set uh, in the areas around Assam. So basically when you move up from Assam towards Tibet, that is the place it's set in. Most of the areas are tribal areas which are so far from civilization that they are still living by the olden ways and that's something really interesting to read about. So uh, there are three main characters. One is a French priest who has come to India to gain entry into Tibet where he wants to preach about his religion and then uh, you know bring people into the fold of Christianity. And two other characters are local tribals, one is Kajinsha and one is Gimur. So both these people, they fall in love, they get married, but they are from different tribal villages and communities as well. So their union was not a very welcome one. Now I think I've already told you enough, so I'm gonna shut up. And I will tell you all about this book in the review on my blog and possibly on my YouTube channel as well. So moving on to today, I think I will be reading a book which was sent to me by the author. It's called Intern Abroad This Year by Aniket Singh. That's what I plan to read this uh, day and uh, <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow or in the evening, depends. Hey guys, so today is 17th and last night I wanted to start a new book so I picked this book up. This is The Indigo Sun by Rupa Buller. This was sent to me by a publicist. So I thought I'll start this because this looks really interesting. The cover is really appetizing and the blurb also speaks a lot about what lays inside. So the book is the story of an NRI woman, a beautiful NRI woman called Maya, who comes to India for a soul-searching, peace-seeking, uh, happiness-seeking mission. And there she lands up in Rajasthan, where she meets with a lot of people who help her discover what happiness is. So I read about 100 pages last night and uh, like I'm about 30% done because this is a 300 page book. And uh, I think I will read, continue reading this today. But at the same time, I also want to move ahead in the Black uh, Hill by Mamang Dai. So it's just a tug of war between this book and that. But let's see. And uh, my reading will only happen in the evening because right now I am busy writing a few reviews of the books that I read recently. So that is also important, right? So um, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, today is 18th of January and I shot a couple of videos today. I actually shot three videos. Two of them are book reviews and one is a general uh, list video. And talking about my reading, yesterday night I managed to finish this book, The Indigo Sun by Rupa Bhullar. Now when I started reading this, I was really excited because the cover and the blurb was really interesting. But this book is not good. I did not like it at all. The reason I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's written with a very philosophical uh, bent of mind. Those of you who are interested in philosophy, like those of you who really love philosophy will be interested in this book. But when it comes to me, I uh, if I want to read philosophy, I'll rather go and read a non-fiction. Why seek philosophy in a uh, fiction book? So that's the point uh, and that is the reason I did not like this book. Even though it has a nice concept, the theme is nice, the plot conceived is nice, the characters are okay, but just the fact that almost 70% of the book is pure philosophy has put me off this book. So it's around 1 o'clock right now, I think I'll be editing 3 videos, the ones which I shot today and uh, also there's another giveaway coming up uh, this Sunday so stay tuned, it's a non-fiction giveaway, it's a giveaway of a book on personal finance so it's a really good book, really good book, trust me, when I say this, I have taken advice from that book myself. So you should definitely be looking forward to that book and uh, that giveaway. Also, after I'm done editing the videos, I think I'll go back to this book, Phoenix by Aarti Chokpai. I started this last week. I read almost 50%, but I don't know why I just stopped reading it. It's a really good book so far. Uh, so I want to go back to it and probably finish it today. Let's see. And so that's it for me, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so today is 21st January, today is Sunday and since yesterday I have been reading a lot. I did not read anything on Friday because that was the day I was busy in uh, editing my videos and doing other stuff, writing reviews and all that stuff. You get my point, right? Yesterday was Saturday and I read a lot on Saturday. So I finished this book, Phoenix by Aarti Chukpai. This was a book which I started uh, almost 10 days back. I had read around 50% of it and the remaining 50% I completed yesterday. This is a story of a woman who is shunned by her family when she decides to leave her husband. After 4 years, a husband who is 
uh, who doesn't do anything, who doesn't work, and who's a very big time drug addict. So she takes a very tough decision to leave her husband, and uh, that is when she's shunned by her entire family, including her parents and in-laws and sister and everybody. And this is that woman's fight against the society, against the system. So overall, I enjoyed reading this book. The next book that I read was. Uh, this one it's a non-fiction and now this is a book which tells you a lot about the various opportunities which are available for students to intern abroad. It opens up a lot of opportunities and doors for people, for students basically who want to intern abroad and it also stresses the importance of internship like uh, <laughs> I would talk from my own experience I have seen that people you know don't take internships seriously I was not one of them but yeah I know people who were definitely the sort who did not uh, you know take their internship seriously so this focuses on the importance of internships and how you can use these internships to gain a competitive edge over your uh, uh, like uh, over other people over other students so um, it, it's written a really good style it's a short read and I was able to do it yesterday and uh, that was all I read yesterday and today since morning I'm reading this book I don't know if you can see it it's called The Black Hill by Mamang Dai and today since morning I've been reading it that's it for my reading uh, for this week I will see you next week. Bye.